Oh, what up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a Lord of the Rings draft. We just did this magic 30... <coughs> Excuse me. We did this magic 30 mixed up draft here, which I thought was going to be similar to like a cube or a chaos draft. I guess it was kind of like a chaos draft where like it was like all the cards that are available on MTG Arena were just thrown into different packs, which is kind of just a terrible way to draft because you have all these these sets with different archetypes and different themes. So it's like there was a ton of proliferate cards, but you never really get a lot of cards with counters on them. And then you get a bunch of sapperling and fungus cards, but you don't really get a lot of those. Like, like so cards that are like, if you have all your sapperlings and funguses get plus one, plus one, but you don't have any. And then like all the cards are like referencing other things that are just not really present in the format. So I don't know. It, it was not a great experience. I did not enjoy it. I thought it was going to be more cube like where it was a curated list where they're like, let's take all the sets on MTG arena and find cards that go together and make like a little cube out of it. Um, it was not that it was literally just take all the cards and throw them into packs. And so like, there were literally cards with two root snares in them, <laughs> like a root snare from like M19 and a root snare from like Dominaria or whatever the set it's in. I'm like, why do you have two root snares in the same pack? Uh, yeah, it was just... It's not ideal, man. Considering Root Snare is not even playable to begin with. I don't know. So yeah, it's good times. But, like, more like the opposite of good times, you know? Uh, my experience with LOTR drafts have been night and day. I've, I've really enjoyed this draft format. I don't think I fully mastered it yet, which is, um, making things a little trickier, but that being said, I think it's, I still think it's great. So a file seems pretty good. And it doesn't commit us to anything. Yeah, let's take that file. File that under awesome. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Nobody knows. More like poop snare, am I right? Fuck yeah, he's right. He is right. Dude, that dude is... That dude's right. Poop snare. God damn. <laughs> Fucking camp, man. Enjoyed the ring mechanic much more than I expected to. So was, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I think it's really deep. I think the format's really deep. I think there's a lot of great strategies. Um, I think the ring tempting you is, is really well balanced. Um, I think call of the ring is actually extremely strong and I'm surprised that someone took something else over it, but that's okay. There's an uncommon they really wanted, I guess. So I will take call of the ring. I think these are, these are pr two pretty good openers here. Also, if you, if the ring is tempting you where you get to draw and discard and then you get to trigger this with no cards in hand, you just get to draw two and discard one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I drafted this card in the very beginning of the format, and I was, like, kind of unimpressed. I was like, eh, it's all right, I guess. It's not great. Um, I think this was before people, like, really figured out what was going on. It was definitely before I figured out what was going on. But, like, since then, I think it's um, gone up a bit, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little Mordor mustard. You ever order your hot dog with a little Mordor mustard on it? So I'm assuming we're going to be some form of black. Is black blue the correct way to go? What about black white? I do like an Aowen. A-O-N. 
Hmm. Could just take Mortar Muster, but I think Awen's stronger. I'm gonna take the A1. We'll see what it we'll see where it leads. I don't wanna. <laughs> Solid white cards here. Banish is pretty good, I think. Got some eagles from the north. I wonder if Grimma Worm Tongue is worth it. Probably, yeah, we can take Grimma. I think Grimma's probably the play here. I have not done the Five Color Legends deck. I feel like it's very, very contested. And um, I think I basically just feel like I'm. it's not open. This is funny. This card's basically a blank and limited. Whenever the final chapter of a saga you control resolves, real, real cards until you get another saga. Tom Bombadil's just telling you story after story, and it's it just... There aren't enough stories in the limited environment. Shire Sheriff is very good. Um, Took Reaper just because the ring tempts you is pretty good. I'm taking the Took Reaper. Nasty end. Hmm. I'm going to take this. I'm pretty sure we're a little closer to just being white than we are black here. Plus two, plus one, make a food. Eh. None of these cards are super impressive. I'll take this idiot. We don't know which way we're going. I do like a good Lembus. This card was actually quite good every time we've played it. Oh, speak of the devil. I'll take Esquire of the King here. Born upon a wind. Horses of the Brunin was very good when we played that as well. That was shockingly good. Um, I think we're definitely more white than we are black here. Thankfully, the black cards are not great anyway. Banish from Adorus is interesting. I'm just going to take Banish here. Oh, 
Oh boy. Um, none of these cards are very good. Yeah, the bats aren't bad, but as a two, three flyer for four, like, and we don't really have the tokens to really make them work. I mean, that being said, like, it's probably fine. There's this pack is pretty underwhelming. Another Shire Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, we're just taking Shire Sheriff, sure. Oh, Rosie Cotton of South Lane. And an Aaron Rider of Gondor. This is. And a Lash of the Balrog. This pack is. See, this pack is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just taking Rosie here and hoping some Errand Riders of Gondor make their way. Isn't that Sam's wife? Uh, sure. So here we can take a nasty end. Nope, nope, nope. See, this is this is rough. Packs like the oh, actually, yeah, that card's great. Shadow summoning. Oh, uh, anything? Inherited envelope, eh? Ring tempting us might be worth it, but. I'll just take this guy here. I don't think it's... It might be Envelope just because the ring tempts us. Plus, between that and File, I think it lets us splash a color. Uh, I'll take Fog. Take another bats here. None of these cards are exciting. And we'll take another West Fold. Oh, I guess. Yeah, okay, I think we got it. Just because it's a beater. Second breakfast, whatever. No. Okay. Oh, sting. Okay. Uh, oh, Denethor seems great. I do like that. 
Yeah, we'll just take Denethor. I don't think there's anything that great in this in this pack. This is actually pretty rough. There's like literally no playable white or black cards outside of Denethor. Maybe Morgul Knife Wound, but This is wild. Like, the ring just tempts you, like, automatically. Like, it's such a wild card. Like, even if you never draw a card off of the, the life ability, like, it so quickly gets you, to, gets you to the looting ability. Oh, an Errand Rider of Gondor. Also, Hobbit Sting. Um, yeah, we're just going to take the Errand Rider of Gondor. Oh, I actually don't mind a Mordor muster. Don't care about escape from or thank. Three three that makes a one one is fine. I think I just want the two drop. We have how many two drops do we have? I bet it's a lot. Nah, I'm gonna take the mortar muster. I think I just want it for the card draw mostly. Oh, plus we're probably not playing two Esquires. Another Grimma. Another Grond the Gatebreaker. Might be just Lash of the Balrog here. Yeah, we'll just take the removal. How many creatures are we looking at here? 14? Plus cards like Muster and Shadow Summoning. It's not terrible. <clears throat> Another Eowyn. I'm just going to take the other Eowyn. I'll play two Eowyns. Wow, that's a late errand writer. Yep, that's... Oh, what up, Dan Snacks? You going to PAX or BlizzCon? So Kerwin in the chat's trying to get me to go to PAX. Probably not BlizzCon, though. I didn't even know BlizzCon was still a thing. Let's go, Aowen. I don't know why that's so funny. Uh, we're talking about Seattle packs, right? Packs is it still packs prime? Mortal mustard does sound very spicy. Yo, yo, Hobbit Sting came back. That's pretty cool. Is it just PAX West now? That's interesting. Overperform knife wound, huh? Yeah, I guess there's no reason that it would be called PAX Prime, right? That doesn't make any sense. Kurt was literally in Japan like a month and a half ago. And he was there for like a month. All right. 47 cards. Good grief. This is going to be a... It's 
So I don't think I care about that. Those two are fine. You're f X number of creatures plus foods. Creatures and foods is... I like all of those. That's good. That's good. You're good. Second breakfast I don't actually care about. How good is Rosie Cotton in our deck? Like, we're not making a bunch of tokens. Yeah, it's any token. This is still 42. Good lord. Rosie's always good to deal with premium removal on the possibility that you have to. They don't know. That's true. And she makes the food, so you're getting at least one token and a food out of her. Oh, also Denethor makes a bunch of tokens. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> if you fire Sam's wife, he's not going to help you carry the ring. Wow. Uh, I think I can cut one of these Westfold Riders. Sure. How many creatures is this? 14? <clears throat> I want to play 41 because that's just... That's the way it is. Second Eowyn? Second Eowyn seems wonderful. You're out of your mind. I've agreed with you so much so far. And now... Now it's all ruined. Wow. Infinite, infinite two drops. Not one. I'll keep it, but I'm not going to like it. You know, we getting started early over here. No, I mean, you might be right. I, I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> I don't claim to be an expert at this format, I just think it's good. Okay. They're gonna be like, wow, they're so token-centric with Denethor and Mirkwood bats. My god, they're gonna have so many tokens, and I'm gonna be like, just kidding. Oh, that's a that's a spicy meatball, isn't it? I don't think I want to risk it though. They could have counter spells, you know. They're just kind of glorious, glorious gale. This guy. Sure. No attacks. Your deck is heavy play. Get some. No way, man. This is a character. These sleeves are so great. Extra Mordor mustard on that one. Yeah. You don't want to be. You don't want to skimp on the Mordor mustard. I like it when they spell when they spend four mana to draw two on their turn. That's good times. What's the trick they have here? For one blue. I guess they could untap another black. Negative three doesn't kill my guy, though. Death touch? They untap a black and give their guy death touch? No, I'm just gonna take it. I, I don't. I don't think it's worth. 
Oh yeah, look at that. They hovered over the little... Yeah, whatever, whatever bullshit they're trying to pull here. I ain't having it. No attacks. I always wanted to use Pokemon Sleeves and Yu-Gi-Oh! Planet. Why didn't you? Why didn't you then? That's like the easiest thing you could have done. You could have just done it, you know? But you were a little baby about it. Um, Good grief, man. I regretted not doing it my whole life. <laughs> to this day, I still regret it. So we got three mana. Is this worth it? Possibly? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't actually know. Feels correct. Like, she's really holding us back. But I still got a guy, right? Baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the problem with it, it doesn't just stop it. Like, you don't even get to trade. So it's really kind of frustrating. Spending a lot of time drawing cards. You got it. a laddie to be a ring bearer. God, and they gain vigilance too? <whistles> Unbelievable. Sure. 
Yep. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Gather round, children. A little Kerr would tell you about a time before the internet and smartphones. Back when TVs were smaller than tablets. <laughs> oh, those were the days. What is this? You just gotta look at my hand. Take the take the spiciest meatball. Sure. This is two mana, so four, five, six. Okay, I just want to see what this does. Mass one, sure. Okay, now you can go away. Please leave. Oh yeah, man. We used to have, I used to have a Sony Trinitron, which is like the, um, the gold standard for, uh, like GameCube games. And like, that's what they, that's the CRT that they all love. Like the Smash community. I think if I recall correctly and like, God, that thing was so unreasonably heavy, dude. Unbelievably heavy. Okay, well, I think we're almost dead here. That's going to deal us four. And then if they have any other spell with the last two cards in hand, I guess we just die. It is so awkward to carry. It's so front heavy and the back is so light. Like you can tell there's nothing in the back. And so it always leans, like the screen always leans forward. And if you try to lift it from the back, it always kind of wants to tip over. Oh, God, what a nightmare. <laughs> wow, this has just been such a pleasure. Oh. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home and... Amazing. Oh, cool. Fucking Mythic Sauron. Guess we'll go to the next game. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, cool. Good times. Everything is all right. I just reset the font size in the... I'm trying to see if I can make the font look a little better. I feel like it's squished in the display. How come you didn't draft a Mythic Sauron? Because I never opened them. My opponents open them quite consistently. I, however, do not. It's 
Let's try 34. We're trying 34. Font size, 34. Having a good time. Having a good time. But they were not having a good time. He was having a bad time, you might say. Ooh, see, look, it still looks like it's... It looks like it's smushed, right? It looks like it's like... Why does it look like that? Man, I need to figure it out. All right, any planes in this hand is is good, right? In before he never draws a planes and starts with a commanding O1. Oh, beautiful. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Well, that's definitely the play, right? Well, that's unfortunate. Buddy, I can't try any fucking harder than I am right now. Okay, here's a here's a little UI lesson for you guys. Don't have your interactables in a place where they could act Jesus fucking Christ. In a place where you can actually click on buttons that that affect the turn. Like if you click on this pie, you're literally just clicking on things that actually have an impact on on the game. Man, I thought this hand was really good, and then they had an answer for literally everything, and that was that was pretty cool of them. This guy's getting quite quite girthy. We're at a point where we need to block just yet, but I really don't think we're going to win this game either, so that's fun. Okay, well. So we can just deal four here and loot? That's interesting. I mean, we're not going to because we're way behind, but it's good to know that it's an option. Well, we're definitely blocking. Hmm. 
I think I have to take action here as much as I don't want to. So we got six mana. We can play this. Uh, I guess we're going to loot here. Okay. So we can play another bat and this guy. We're one mana shy of being able to also cast Hobbit Sting, which is unfortunate. That's not going to be great. Um, so this is going to be two. And this guy's got Menace. Yeah, I think we just have to play two creatures here and just hope for the best. I think we're dead here, but Cool, you get to kill both bats. Fantastic. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's not terrible. So, two blanks and a removal spell. Yeah, cool. Fantastic. The exact card you need to win the game on the spot, and it's an uncommon. Wonderful. Congratulations. Around the time we had two Eowyns in our deck and we just literally never drew one in either game. Good times. Um, let's take out this nasty end and bring in the other Westfold Rider, I think. Give me those Dr. Pepper strawberry cream ads algorithm, man. <laughs> Good times. Oh, 
Oh, get a little mustard. This is a lot of things that are happening here. Okay. Well, only one white, so we can't play two things this turn. Guess we'll just play a little worm tongue. Uh, mustard over rider, because I want to draw further in. I don't have anything I can play. Like, this is going to get blocked by so many things. That's a nice little treat. We'll lose life of the legendary. Do the thing. Okay, cool. Hmm, it's our token. I mean, they have two cards in hand. Just play this beautiful bat. Let's roll that beautiful bat footage. But also no attacks. Okay, that's fine and not exciting. Really? Oh god, no, don't do that. Um, I'm just going to double block here and assume you don't have a one blue trick that can hurt me. Okay, we just got a free guy out of it. Oh, another, another bat. And this is a situation where call would be great because we can be like, make, a, make our guy the ring bearer, sack it. Make our guy the ring bearer, sack it. Make our guy the ring bearer. You get it. You get the... Yeah, that's fine. What? But I have a blocker. I don't understand anything that's happening. Okay, so... Aren't you five? We can still just activate you? That's pretty cool. Sacrifice a token? This one. What do you cost now? You cost three. Okay. I love a good main phase sack of food token. And they can't gain life because of Grima. Okay, well that's pretty good. All right, well. Plus one, plus one. It's just, so it's just a two turn clock. Alright, well. That 
That's a cute one. My turn. Then we do one of these jobbies. Oh yeah, so yeah, make sure you get that basic land before we go to the next game. I don't really think we need to switch anything here. Try searching your library for the concede button. God damn. Well, I'll keep this. And if we draw a land in the first two turns, a plane specifically, we're in great shape. That's not it. You know that's not it, too. You're just being a little shit. You son of a biscuit. See, like, look at this. If I click this, I'm going to click this biscuit, this biscuit right here. It's so close to just hitting one of these two buttons. Like, don't make your interactables next to functioning game buttons. Just a little, just a little UI lesson. I feel like we're just way far behind because we just didn't hit our stupid land. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You're just gonna bounce that guy? Okay. Annoying, but I understand. Oh, good. Wonderful. That's very good. And no white mana, and we get to replay the same card. Uh, 
This is gonna this is gonna be brutal. Hmm. We do have a Shire Sheriff to deal with one and a Lash to deal with the other. Just that guy, huh? Nope, still not that. I guess we're just blocking. What? I don't understand anything that's going on. I just know that I don't have any lands. That's all I know. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. Ring tempts you? Yep. See, that's pretty good. That's probably going to be where we scoop. All the guys getting plus one, plus one every single turn while they loot. Not great. All I wanted was a, a land that was that was either white or more than what I had. I don't think it's asking for too much, you know? Uh, this is definitely a, f a big fat keeperino. This is a beautiful curve, just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Whoa, get out of here. Look at that. So we can start pumping these guys too. Solid times. What? So they're, D they're, they're D.O.B. Unless they play that Kingfisher. Or that 3-4 with the, with the little scry. That is not going to do it good, sir. No blocks. Does that do anything for our current situation? Not really. Yep, that'll do, pig. Oh, God. I want to say no, because last time they got me. I'll say yes, because uh, I don't want to lie. Oh, Reckless Handling. Sweet. I'll put that right into my Reckless Handling deck. All right, let's see if we can 2-1 this bad boy. Let's do it again. One more time. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, HelloFresh is sponsoring the stream again. <laughs> you guys can check HelloFresh out. You get 50% off and free shipping off your first box. So definitely check HelloFresh out. You can uh, find the promo code and the link in the description. 
I'll also put it down in the YouTube description. I'll also put it down in the Twitch description. Or you can subscribe and follow. Use those Amazon Prime Twitch subs. Oh, yeah. Two into three into four. This is a good, this is a good little thing. Did we get to go first? I think, does this mean they get to go first? Or are they still mulliganing? <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay, we got to go first. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, you got it. Sacrifice your Timothy Oliphant. Radiation physics is really a bear of a topic. Are you guys studying bears? Because that's cool. Baby, you know I love animals. Oh, interesting. There's no bears on the exam? What the fuck? Why not? What? Wait, what? Okay, I mean, I'll block. You can get the, you can, the ring can tempt you, that's fine. This guy's got reach though, let's keep that in mind. Keep it in mind. One, two, three, I think we play these two next turn, we'll just play these bats this turn. I'm gonna say no attacks. No attacks. Is that the good one? That guy's the okay one, right? When it enters battlefield, creatures you can choke a plus one plus O oh until end of turn. He don't have haste, but they still gave him the thing. So that's weird. That's weird. Why would you do that? Okay, target creature gains your choice to first strike or vigilance. Okay, first strike or vigilance. What if the exam was easy instead of hard? Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be cool. Maybe. This one dude is really getting on my goddamn nerves because of his reach. Why do you have reach? Yeah, that guy's fine. This weird fucking massive death. Oh, we can just play both these guys. That's cool. Wait, hold on. Let's play it correctly. Because we'll play this. And we'll play her. And now we can play him. And because we're drawing a card, we're drawing two cards instead. Um, who's going to get first strike? Anybody? Anybody? Mm, doesn't matter. Okay. Give you first strike. You got it. You're such a you're such a strikey boy. I'm at a point where I might just start sacrificing a creature a turn to deal a little damage, you know, with my with my bats. You got it. Oh, that guy's big. That guy is a big galoot. You know, you don't have trample or anything? You're just... Is there like a good block here? Are you 2-4 and 2-4 into this guy? I want him to stick around, though. And if I block with 2-3 and 2-4, then we lose them both. I think it might just be worth this guy. Like, these two idiots. It might just be... Might just be fine. Yeah, I don't. That's fine. Vigilance. No attacks. I just can't get past this one reachy boy. Where's Papa's removal when he needs it, you know? Sure. 
sure. Okay, they didn't do anything. I like it. God, if I keep drawing lands, I can't take advantage of my... Doesn't matter. No one's going to care. I could be drawing two cards a turn if, if, if I didn't draw two lands, you know? Where's the justice here? I don't think they're doing great either, though, so... Oh, there. That's... That's a, that's a ticket. Let's play the land. Can we do first strike? Let's do first strike. Beautiful. This poor, this poor human just keeps getting wrecked. Can we just kill them? One, two. We can sack two more things. So the answer is no. Who's getting the token? The, the counter. Probably Aowen. She could use a good counter, you know? Oh, you're going to have my Aowen kill my rosy cotton? Here comes a rosy cotton test. I might as well sacrite. Sacri sacrite her. an alpha because they're like I gotta do something oh we're at 24 that's a healthy life total they were like let me let me figure it out let me see if I can do anything here is our opponent's name hobo machine <laughs> oh, that's pretty good pretty 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 good um, I kind of like Morgul Knife Wound. It seems decent against some of his guys. We also didn't draw any of our removal. I want to take out Lash because it's kind of expensive. We'll bring in the Knife Wound. But, like, we didn't draw Knife, wound, knife wound, Banish, uh, Hobbit Sting, or Fog, which is kind of sad. I mean, not to say our draw was terrible, but... Hobo Machine. MTG Arena allows you to see what your friends are playing right now. You can challenge and chat with them whenever they are online. Well, that's that's only been a feature for the past twenty years. Oh, okay. Dropped a little clip that was on my desk. Um, yeah, okay. What? I said keep, didn't I? Hmm. Fascinating. Well, we don't want to play Shire Sheriff right away. Do we just want to make a rosy cotton? That's, see, that's a good, that's a good gentleman. Hopefully they don't play anything, you know? Also, the, the food that Rosie Cotton makes is just great for Shire Sheriff. Which means I might actually just play her now. Put a counter on this beautiful gentleman. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't sacrifice yourself, please. Now they're going to just deal two to this guy. Yep. Oh, actually, that's fine.
And then they're like, I'm gonna kill the Shire Sheriff in response. And then I'm gonna be able to block. Okay. Everything's happening. Mm, that's fine. Whenever they get to cast Errand Rider without having a creature to to straight up be a draw spell, I'm, I'm okay with it. Big Vigilance, check it and see. Yeah, had a feeling you'd block. <laughs> then I saw a black Aragorn and I was like, what? Oh, you didn't even know that the, you didn't, you didn't even see the art for the set. That's interesting. That's interesting, Mark. This guy's really good and frustrating. I literally might just hobbit sting and took reaper it. Oh god, doesn't feel good. I would love to not draw any more lands. Oh, they just didn't attack. That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. What? Wow. That's... That's some beef. I mean, they could have still attacked and then untapped. They, if they had this trick, why didn't they attack? Wild. I wonder if I'm undervaluing this. Like, it's just... There's a lot of combat situations where that's really decent. What if they got another one? Well, this is all I got. Augusto 7. Yes, correct. Oh, good. Wonderful. Well, when all you had wasn't enough. Didn't we draft, like, Hall of the Ring? We don't have a token? <sighs> Alright. Oh, wow, that guy's really fucking good. Come on, man. Oh, God. Yeah, cool. Did you know, did you want your eighth land? I did. I did want my eighth land. Thanks. Bring in this banish. <laughs> Second banish seems good here. Um, Hobbit Sting is kind of poop considering how... Like, I don't care about their small guys. The guys that are small enough to get killed by hobbits thing, I don't care about. I'd rather just be able to get rid of their big fat idiots. 
Oh yeah, this is this is the hand we want. Fingers crossed. Okay. And if we hit a fourth land, we can go file into mortar. Oh no. The thing we were afraid of is happening. Okay. God damn it. The reach guy strikes again. Is it fourth from the top? Wow, that's really far down. I think we just want to play this into this. Okay. If we hit a land the next turn, we can play both of these. That's pretty good. And then our hand's empty for the file. Come on, Swampy. Give Papa a little swamp. Uh, no blocks. You think he's got the plus one, plus three untap? 100% does. Well, that is not a land. It didn't seem like it stopped for him either, so that's interesting. Six land is really the key, because six lands lets us play activate this and play either of these two. But we're not going to get that six here, apparently. We do have five, so we can actually play this and activate to sacrifice the orc? Yeah, let's do that. Should have attacked first. Maybe they don't. Maybe they block. Or maybe they don't block, rather. Okay. Fascinating. I mean, I think they do have something here. Do I care? Oh god, I don't even know. Do they have plus two, plus one? God, maybe. I don't want to take ten if they do, though. Yeah, we're just taking six here. If you want to, like, use your... Yeah, that's fine. I don't think it's worth sacrificing Denethor.
Okie dokie. Trust this guy now. Okay, both these guys got it. Wild. Okay, that's not too bad. And you get a guy back? Sure, that's pretty good. Giving this guy one, two, three, four. They're tapped out. Like, they'd have to block with two things. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty cool. That's kind of what I was hoping they would do. Because now we get rid of their two legends, which makes their their knight errand worse. Okay, well that was that's probably what they needed. They couldn't have played that any faster. We did play the chaos draft. It was it was not good. So they're tapped out. But they have two blockers. Or I can double block here and then lose both my guys, which is pretty bad. Again, like a sixth man of this entire fucking game would have been really benefited us. We would have drawn like a million extra cards, but we literally can't get a fifth land. It's really frustrating.
Yeah. Like, I mean, if we had one more land, we could play this and then also just draw two cards next turn. Like, it's just really frustrating that, like, we're losing because we, we, ha we just can't draw a fifth land in 20 turns. Fingers crossed you don't have a trick. I don't know, like... Can't really keep playing around this guy forever. I mean, we know they have a trick, but... Oh, okay. Well, that was enjoyable. Especially since they... Oh, wow. That's... That's something. Again, six mana. Six mana total. Hey, six total mana. Okie dokie. Oh, they get Vigilance, though. That's pretty good. Oh, God. Look, if they didn't have this, we just went on the spot. That's hilarious to me. <sighs> Choose a creature to be the ring bearer, eh? If we choose this, they just block it. I'm still going to choose it because I'd rather have two legendary creatures than one. Uh, first strike. Maybe we could just eat a 1-1 one -one here, which is just fine. Yeah, that guy just not drawing them a card straight up is just significantly better. Like, I'm glad they didn't play that last turn when they had a legendary creature. And that's also fine. Alright, so somehow we just got a little, little back into the game. And now we get to play two creatures, which is nice. Um... Yeah, again, first strike doesn't do anything. This this dude has been a real pain in the ass this entire draft. Vigilance. And then no attacks here. Boy, this is a real... It's a real something. That guy's fine. That guy's fine. Any removal for this guy, we just went on the spot. That's actually pretty good. And we get a food token. Is this five or less? Oh, yeah, we gained six off this. That's pretty cool. Um, vigilance? Okay. I mean, might as well crack this. We have nothing else, right? Yeah, going to 11, drawing two cards next turn, that probably seals the deal. Unless they have a six drop here that's just absolutely bonkers.
That's actually a pretty sweet sleeve. This guy does have reach, yes. Otherwise, we would have won like seven turns ago. Dude, I like I feel like this this draft would have ended like 20 minutes earlier if they just didn't have 2 3 reach guy. Yep. Is there a card? That doesn't matter if it gives him trample. Like we can just get around it. Like we're at 11 now. Uh, I'll make rosy cotton. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Maybe it does. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Ooh, interesting. I mean, do we just attack with these two? I don't really want to sacrifice. I don't really want to sacrifice one of our spirits just to to get rid of something else, so I'd rather let them use removal to get rid of it. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. That's how you do it. <laughs> Solid last card in your hand. Oh, lord. Even if we left this guy the ring bearer, they could still block the 2-2 with the 2-3 and the 3-3 with the 6-4, so that wouldn't have changed anything. If we use this to get rid of this guy and then attack with the 3-3, they could still pump this guy to kill it. So, like, that, that situation plays out the same way every time. One thing is that, like, if we draw a removal for this 1-1, one, one, we could just win with Rosie Cotton. There's also an argument to be made, like, if we gave Rosie Cotton uh, first strike to make sure she doesn't die, we get to loot and then keep one of the, like, draw two, discard one. We can still do next turn. So we get to look at four cards if we survive this turn. I only have one card in hand, so... God, this game has been a grind, dude. Just that guy, huh? And that guy. I have one card in hand. I was like, that seems like an easy block, so... I'll take it if you're giving it to me. I'm just blocking here. That's perfect. Okay. Um, okay. So we can play Grimma Worm Tongue first. Draw two. And we'll just discard the land. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure we just for sure win next turn if we can just survive. And we're at 11, so it feels possible. You 
You got it. Yep, this feels last ditch efforty. I'm just gonna block in such a way that like the most of my guys survive. And just, if, as long as I can sacrifice Grim Worm Tongue, like, we're golden. And, like, you can't block this guy either. So we have two ways to win on board. I guess we'll just attack with Rosie first. Let her win. <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, so... 2-1, not terrible. I think we saw Call of the Ring, like, one time. Wasn't there something else cool in this deck? I, I thought there was some... What was our first pick? Oh, the file. Yeah, that actually turned out to be very, very good. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to consider subscribing on Twitch. Check out HelloFresh. You can find the link in the YouTube description down below or on my Twitch page. 50% uh, off your first box plus free shipping. It's a great deal. And uh, I'll see you next time.